probably figured out I had a problem drinking in high school. That wasn't the first time I drank, but it was the first time that it started to become problematic. When I was about 12, I used my first drug. I just more or less went off the walls. I'm my problem. The way I cope or lack thereof with reality and the drugs, you know, made that easier to deal with for a while. One in six students between the ages of 18 and 24 has a substance abuse problem and many of those students were going into recovery. And as we have seen these students uh, uh, come to MSU, we wanted to put in place some support systems for them because we don't really know what brings a student to an addiction. But what we want to do is bring a student into recovery and help them support themselves in recoveries. Applied here, was accepted, and the first thing I did, I, I was ecstatic, but I was also super scared because I knew I had built something up. You know, I had people that I could count on. I knew the places to go to get what I needed to support like my recovery. So I Googled recovery at MSU, and the first thing that popped up was the CRC and the Travelers Club, and that was uh, really important in my decision uh, to come here is the fact that there is this, um, this place for us. I think the CRC has been super helpful as far as being a student goes because you can get support in the community with different 12-step programs and that kind of thing, but it's not necessarily people who can relate to going to school and being a college student and trying to be sober at the same time. One of the cool things the CRC does is offer alternates to a lot of the things that the other students do. Like we'll, we'll do sober tailgates. So we can, it's some way, it's a way to participate with the school and be part of the student body without necessarily going out and drinking. So had I not had a place and a group of people in a safe space like this and a group of people to come around that are students that can relate with what I'm going through as, as a student and in recovery, without that, I don't think I'd feel a part of. I feel like, yeah, I, I go here, but I just go to class and then go home. But like here I have you know, this is my real connection to this university. If the CRC didn't exist, I would spend way less time on campus. I think I would be basically a commuter student. I would come for class and leave. Because as it is, I, I only live about a mile off campus, but it's far enough that I'm not kind of in the mayhem of the downtown East Lansing area. And if I didn't have the CRC here, I don't think I would spend really any additional time on campus other than coming to class. And a lot of students don't want to approach a campus that doesn't have a recovery program because they need that community. They need that support to stay in recovery. I mean, these students, some of these students have probably the highest level of capacity, persistence uh, that I've ever seen. You know, recovery is a day-to-day -day process. So uh, having somebody here at MSU that knows there's a support system has been unreal to the students who have entered MSU and chosen to be in recovery. As an alumni association, one of the things that we don't necessarily always see is the impact we're having um, to students currently on campus. And I think this is just a prime example of the connections that we bring um, to support such programs like this. They started um, a crowdfunding project. After that conversation, I went back and talked to our colleagues in annual giving to see what we could do, how we could help them out. I thought that was a logical place for them to start. Through that crowdfunding campaign, they've been able to establish donors that are now giving reoccurring gifts um, on an annual and also some on a monthly basis to the program. So now they have an established support base. When you invest in supporting somebody in recovery, you're investing in the legacy of MSU. Being in recovery means that you've been brought to addiction and now you've chosen to be in recovery and we want to be able to support that.